And Kent, can I record, please? You'll have to wait just a minute. Sure All right, Coach, why don't you uh, go ahead with a uh, opening statement, and then we'll get into uh, questions. Well, I've been doing this a long time, and, and um, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like that game. Um, I, I will say this. The first half, um, at halftime, I didn't have to – I didn't say a lot. Um, I, I was more disappointed – in the way that we uh, we chose to perform, and we chose to perform poorly, uh, very sloppy, um, and uh, and with very uh, with very very little energy, I think that that, that is where this uh, this program has gotten to, uh, in that um, uh, these guys were mad at half, they were upset at themselves, they were they were uh, uh, they were really disappointed. And uh, to come out in the second half, hold the team to 8% and two field goals, I've, I've not been a part of that. Uh, and then it just translated into uh, uh, offense and getting us in the open court. And, and uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was from then, it, it just kind of steamrolled. But uh, uh, I'm really proud of our guys. They, that shows a lot of growth and maturity uh, in the second half. And uh, I think it shows our spurtability on the offensive end as well. But uh, that was a game. You're plus 13 the second half on the glass, and uh, uh, you know you just don't do that to a Chris Collins team uh, offensively because they're as good offensively as um, as any team in the country. Uh, being able to score the ball at five spots. Okay, questions. Uh, Shannon Ryan, Scott Ritchie, Derek Piper, in that order. Go ahead, Shannon. All right. Um, you can hear me okay. I got you. Okay. Um, it just seems like the, this Big Ten is going to require a lot of resiliency, and it seems like your team is showing that. I'm just curious if how big of a factor do you think that can be with your team to be able to have comebacks like this, or you know, when you're down to fight through it? Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head, Shannon. I think that um, you know this this whole season is about resiliency, and it's um, you know starts with with the the COVID and everything else. But I. Uh, uh, you know, I mentioned our last game. I mean, it was unique. I mean, against Purdue, you know, go nine of 22 from the free throw line and, and they go on a 19-0 run. Uh, you usually don't win those games. And uh, yet this team has um, uh, a, a fight and a, and a competitiveness that I, that I love. And uh, every night is a dog fight. This league's best league in the country. It's not even close. And um, you better bring it every night. As, and Northwestern was ranked last week. So um, I'm, I'm really proud of this group for their, um, for their competitive pride and spirit. Okay, Scott Ritchie, you're up, and Derek Piper on deck. Brad, yeah, it seemed like you were really challenging Kofi in the first half, you know, as he sat on you know, the bench. Um, and then, you know, he said that continued at, at the halftime break. Just what was he not giving you that you wanted? And then, I think, you know, definitely did in the second half. Well, his rebound total wasn't very good at half. Um, he, you know, he, we things change. We spent a lot of time. I didn't say a lot. We spent a good amount of time working about throwing over their zone. You know, just screening in and going to seal. We threw three or four bad passes. He missed three or four, uh, and then all of a sudden that zone isn't near as good as what it, we made it look in the first half. And it was a casualness. Um, you know, it was. Uh, uh, we talked about having to take a step up the floor a little bit on their on their ball screens with Nance, uh, with uh, you know Ryan Young steps in and makes one, uh, and we were just deep. But it it was uh, it was just a lack of motor, uh, a lack of energy. We looked like we'd been in bed since uh, all day, you know, playing a late game. And uh, once we woke up, we were we were we were okay. But uh, I, I was disappointed. And you know, the one thing I love about Kofi is is. I can really challenge him. And I tell him my expectation for him is much higher than it is for himself. And I'm never going to let him be satisfied with anything, to be very honest. I'll tell him when he does great things, but, you know, Kofi's potential is untapped. And, and so it's, uh, he's so receptive to coaching. He wants coaching. And 
And uh, he knew I wasn't very happy in the first half. And, uh, you know, there's a young man who cares and uh, cares about his teammates. And that was a dominant second half. I mean, to, to take the coaching and they take the constructive criticism, is there, I mean, is that there is, a way that to. Is, that is coaching. Constructive criticism yeah. is part of it. It's helping them eliminate mistakes. And uh, this team all had, they, they have that and, and they want to win and they want to be pushed to be better. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed because we got guys with a lot of character in this locker room. Is there something he needs to do to, you know, have that same type of energy he had the second half just all the time? No, I mean, you know, everybody has a little down game. And sometimes it was uh, uh, he had a down half. But uh, that's the one thing that I that I like about Kofi is he responds and, you know, ends up with another double double and, a, and was was absolutely just a dominant force in the paint uh, at both ends. OK, Derek Piper, Gavin Good on deck. Coach, you mentioned not having to say too much in the locker room. You might have said everything you needed to to the bench in those closing minutes. But was there anybody in particular on the team that was was vocal in there to, to kind of take the lead? I wasn't in here for a while. I, I they were all they were all getting after each other pretty good, and and they were all chiming. And they they were embarrassed, Eric. And I mean, and I don't want to say embarrassed. That's not the right. They're disappointed, and they knew they knew that that wasn't them. And uh, that is nice. That's that's the leadership that you want as a coach that you don't have to go do that. You know, at one point in, in, in my career, this program, you know, I had to provide all that and it was, it was emotional and it was getting on them and understanding and, and now they handle it. So it's, it's pretty, keeps my blood pressure down. Kofi mentioned that Io was really getting the team to slap the floor there late, and you guys were up 20 in the game, but still seemed like you were hungry to the very end. What do you think that that said? A lot, I hope, to our opponents that there's there's no quit in us, and and uh, you know it's it's it, it was good tonight, and now we got to go do it again on Sunday. And uh, when this team plays hard and this team plays connected and 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 with great energy, uh, you know we can be that. Uh, uh, that type of team at, at both ends of the court. Thanks, hey, Gavin, you're up. Brandon Simberg on deck. Hey, Brad, you guys gave up two buckets in the second half. No points off turnovers, no points in the paint, no second chance points. What does that say about your team? Well, I, I don't want to make too much out of that, Gavin. I, I mean, I it got steamrolling. It was kind of like the hurricane. You kind of felt it coming. And, and uh, I... We were really good. We were really dialed in, um, and and it just kind of got out of hand. I, I don't want to make too much out of that. And Chris is a heck of a coach. They got a heck of a team, and you know it just it just became one of those uh, one of those twenty minutes that that you, you just kind of want to forget about. But uh, I am very very proud. Beyond, uh, I, I can't say how proud I am. Just that the response of our guys, though. Thanks, Coach. Okay, uh, Brandon Simberg, you're up. Hey, Brad, Jacob Grandison played one minute in the first half, and then in the second half, he was plus 21. So what did you see from him? Yeah, I, again, I, I like the matchup with him tonight. And, and you know, he's – again, he's – it was a good matchup for him defensively. It was a good matchup for him offensively. And then his energy – and, you know, Jacob is an is a elite shooter. And, uh, you know, and that, but he gets two steals – uh, that's what I'm really impressed with. His offensive rebound kept kept a possession alive that we got a three on. Uh, so, uh, you know, he he did all those things off it, great energy and emotion, and and I can't say enough about how 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 happy I am for Jacob. And then it seemed like your bench was they brought more energy in the second half. How important was that for you guys? That's huge. You guys you guys aren't aren't here. Uh, and the most annoying thing is is piped in crowd noise. That is, is, well, um, but that's it. That's it. I mean, everybody on this team has a job to do and it doesn't matter if you're, if you're uh, not getting in games or not, or your manager or whoever you have a job to do. And, and, and this group, uh, everybody's, we need everybody to be a star in their role. Okay. Tyler, uh, Jeremy Werner, and then uh, Gabby, go ahead, Tyler. Coach, you, you uh, this team clearly has another gear it can get to both offensively and defensively. 
but it for a veteran team it does we have seen a propensity to give up double digit runs um, from Baylor to Rutgers to to Mizzou tonight Purdue um, is that concern you or is that baffle you in any way for this team yeah we're trying to figure that out Tyler to be very honest I mean it's one thing we know we need to clean up uh, and we and 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 uh, you don't want those to happen at the wrong time uh, and yet uh, I like it the other way when we can get going because we are we have tremendous I'll use the word spurt ability uh, we, we have the ability to go on on runs the other way but uh, uh, yeah we we've talked a lot about that this week is it play calling is it opportunities is it certain lineups we're looking at all the plus minuses with our with our lineups that we may have in uh but um we'll get it figured out okay gabby you're up uh brad sturdy on deck and then joey wagner go ahead gabby hey brad adam shot well tonight especially in the second half but even when he's still kind of off it seems like he's just so dialed in on defense what does that say about a guy particularly a freshman in this league right now Gabby, he graded out, he and Curbelo after the Purdue game graded out one and two. Uh, and that's hard to do to beat Trent on most nights um, and graded out with the lowest score. And, and, and it just shows you um, Adam's commitment uh, to getting better. And, and, you know, he was challenged early. And, and we threw him out in, the, in hard games against really good players. And now he's so dialed in, it's, it's, it's scary. So I've said he's going to have a night when, when he's going to have four, five, six, seven, eight threes go in. And everybody's going to talk about that. But I'm going to continue to talk about what he's doing on the defensive end because it's really good right now. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Brad uh, Sturdy and Joey Wagner. Go ahead, Brad. Coach, uh, obviously the energy was totally different in the second half. But um, did you see, uh, did you make a couple adjustments that seemed like defensively maybe going back to the guard your man style um, and then offensively maybe getting someone in the high post against the 3-2? Yeah, zone? yeah, Brad. One of the things we, we were, we did, we, were, we tried to spread them out um, and we felt like that we had opportunities to do that and, and, and uh, and then we just we got sloppy. We turned it over. So we did. We put DeMonte in the high post. Uh, we'd actually spent a good amount of time with Curbelo in the high post, but he was in foul trouble. Um, and uh, but again, that was something that we did. We, we screened the middle guy a little bit and, and then tried to play off that. And, um, uh, you know, but again, it was it was something a little different on that end. And I think that the um, you know, the energy was completely different. So the game took on a completely different feel and vibe. And then when you get stops, we can run. And, you know, that's where we're really good. We're really, really good in transition. Okay, uh, Joey Wagner and then Matt Stevens, and that may wrap it up. Go ahead, uh, Joey. Brad, you said you've never really been a part of a second half quite like that. Was there a point in the game where you're on the sidelines and kind of thought to yourself like, okay, this is, this is a new one for me and kind of looked around and appreciated it. No, I didn't have any, I mean, I knew we were guarding. I knew we were making shots that they were challenged. Um, I, I didn't, somebody told me at one point it was 45 to 11 or something. And, and, uh, but um, you know, that, that's the stuff I want to build on. I want to build our program around is those kind of, of efforts. It doesn't happen like that every night, but um I, Joey, I get I get wrapped up in the play and the next play, and and that's that's about it. And then you you realize some of those things after after the fact. Thanks, Brad. Okay, and then we'll wrap up with uh, Matt Stevens. Just a quick injury question, Brad. I just am curious what Demonte uh, what happened to Demonte tonight, and is it something he's been dealing with, or did it just kind of occur tonight? No, it's it's a reoccurrence thing. Of I mean, he's been fighting that ankle sprain. Uh, for some time so it's just a he just kind of said he landed funny and uh, but that is one tough sucker and you think about he wasn't even thinking about not playing in, in, in the second half so um, I don't know the severity of it he, he said he after we walked out of the locker room he said he felt good so um, he's he's been been fighting that ankle sprain here for the last uh, month or so thanks Brad all thanks. right thank you coach congrats have a safe trip home uh, thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. That'll conclude tonight's press conference. Appreciate it.